Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. I've just taken Mason for his walk, so I thought I'll come out here. I haven't been outside really for a couple of months. And, well, I've been outside, I just haven't done anything. As you can see, there's Mason. These are my leeks that just didn't do anything last year, so I've just left them to it. My celery, not gone through the winter too well, but you don't expect it. But the sweet corn, I need to pull them down. But it's going to be another couple of months before I'm actually planting out. So that's now a problem. The problem is going to be Mason. So what I've been thinking of doing is put like a little gateway, put a gateway here and a fence all the way down to the end there. And then take it from here to there, put a little small gateway on it or something and then, then that's the majority of me garden enclosed so he can't get out of it. Um, I'm going to put a fence all round this bit here that I had me potatoes last year and that'll stop him climbing on there. As you can see, he's on everything. But I thought this is the last Monday in January. I thought I'll just show you mm, the outside. It looks depressing because the things that were growing last year and produced, because I had my pumpkins there, and now they're all dying. Everything. I need to sort it out. Me apple tree looks quite sorrowful. And that produced a load of apples last year and they're nice as well. My red currant bush did well last year. My black currants Seems as they've got buds coming. Things look like they've got buds coming. Hmm, it's only the end of January. Greenhouse, still empty. Wants a good clean out. But I did that right about this time last year anyway. My herb garden is not looking too brilliant, but I think they've all survived. Unlike my strawberries, hmm, they don't seem to have. Uh, Oh yes, I've got some flower head there. I'll give it the chickens in a bit. And this is the waste ground that did have all them parsnips in and a, a pumpkin. I did peas, first of all, beginning this um, growing season down the end. But this needs sorting out. It, it's only going to be a few hours work to sort this out. Might be a bit longer to sort the polytunnel out because it's... Mm, yes. It's still intact. It's weathered so far so good. And... But I need to get sort out. So actually I think it looks worse than it is couple of hours and this will be good to go. So a day on the polytunnel on the grow house, a day or two sorting this lot out and then a day or two to do my fence. But I aren't doing them today. <laughs> 
it's about quarter to four now, so I'm going to be losing the light soon. But I just thought I'd show you things that are not happening. <laughs> then, if nothing else, you'll be able to have a starting point. So you can see how we, in August, you can look back to January and see how bad it was. <laughs> That's what happened last year. Uh, it was a tip, a bit like this. This time last year, um, it slowly got sorted. Mason, where are you? You're in the greenhouse. Yeah. So, that's the garden. I put this piece of wood here that stops Mason going into the main part of the garden uh, which would be all right I wouldn't need the fencing but while I'm out here working with the plants and everything I don't want to shut him off that much so so you can hear him crying now he wants to go up there uh, the shed where the rabbits were still need to sort out in there and you can't see through the window but it's become a dumping ground oh chickens have knocked their water over so i'll get them some more water and check the food and put some uh, straw down i think because the floor is extremely wet the apple tree that got scabby apples on last year it just needs a good tidy. If I can spend a few hours a week, it'll be done by March. Just come out here, do a bit of cleaning, tidying. I mean, my porch is still junkified. Uh, yeah few hours a week and that should suffice and get ready March be ready by end of March thank you bye it's a perfect